Perito is definitely one of the most lovable characters in Puss in Boots The Last Wish, so let's take a closer look at his story and what makes him so special. He was born into a family that had kids who loved to play pranks. They enjoyed games like hide and seek, but the truth was, they were actually trying to abandon him. No matter how many times they tried to leave him behind, Perito always managed to find them and come back. He was determined to stick with them, even if they didn't want him around. Unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse when he was stuffed into a sock with a rock and thrown into a river. Thankfully, he didn't give up. He chewed his way out of the sock and swam to the surface, saving himself from a really tough situation. I gnawed a hole in the sock and I swam to the surface! <laughs> After that, he kept the sock and wore it like a sweater, thinking he was still part of the game of hide and seek. After that harrowing experience, he found himself without a home or even a name of his own. He started drifting around, looking for a place where he could truly belong. It was tough for him because he just wanted to find friends and feel accepted. Eventually, Perito decided to disguise himself as a cat so he could live at Mama Luna's cat rescue. Before that, he had been living under her porch, but he had to leave when the rats and centipedes became too much to handle. Even when he got to the rescue, things weren't easy for him. The other cats didn't really like him either, probably because dogs and cats have this natural rivalry going on. But then he met Puss in Boots, and that changed everything for him. <gasps> You're a talking cat? I'm a talking cat. Let's talk. From Perito's point of view, they became fast friends right away. He admired Puss's bravery and charm and wanted to be part of his adventures. So when Puss and Kitty set off on their journey to find the last wish, Perito jumped at the chance to tag along, even though he didn't have a wish of his own. Now that we have a glimpse of his backstory, let's talk about his personality now. He is such a cheerful and optimistic dog, always looking on the bright side of life. He dreams of becoming a therapy dog one day, which really shows how much he cares about helping others. Even though he's a bit naive and tends to trust everyone around him, that's part of what makes him so endearing. He has this incredible ability to see the good in everyone and everything, no matter the situation. But what's really interesting about him is how he views his past. Instead of seeing his abandonment as something sad, he treats it like a game. He shares his story with a lighthearted attitude, almost as if it's just a funny little anecdote rather than a tragic experience. For example, when he talks about being thrown into a river inside a sock, he doesn't dwell on the negative. Instead, he focuses on the positive twist, he ended up with a free sweater from the sock. Jokes on them, that sock they put me in, I grew into it. So, I got a great story and a free sweater out of it. Win, win. That kind of perspective is so refreshing and shows just how resilient he is. He also has a great appreciation for the little things in life. He doesn't take anything for granted and is genuinely grateful for what he has. When Kitty suggested that he deserved to make a wish on the wishing star, Perito didn't seem too interested. It wasn't that he didn't want anything, it was more that he felt content with his life as it was. His ability to find joy in the present moment, rather than longing for something more, really highlights his positive spirit. He has such a pure heart, which really helps him connect with others like Puss, Kitty, Goldilocks, and the Three Bears. His kind and selfless nature makes it easy for him to win people over. No matter what challenges he faces, he's incredibly loyal and never gives up on his desire for friendship, even when others are unfriendly or hostile toward him. One of the most touching moments in the story is when he helps Puss during a massive panic attack. He shows real sympathy and understanding, helping Puss calm down when he really needed support. Perito also plays a big role in helping Kitty become more trusting and considerate of others. Plus, he helps Goldie realize that even though she may not have her birth family, she's lucky to have the three bears as her adoptive family. By relating to Goldie as a fellow orphan, he shows her that family can come in many forms. Interestingly, the only character who wasn't swayed by his charm was Big Jack Horner. Jack is a sociopath who claims to be dead inside, so no amount of kindness from Perito could reach him. While Perito is sweet and has a puppy-like innocence, he also has a bit of a potty mouth. 
His naive trash talking includes some censored swear words that leave Goldie and the three bears shocked and mildly disturbed. You're all a bunch of knuckle dragging, honey scrounging, drunk, oafish, munching, mangy, nugget, and your snooter. <laughs> It's funny how his playful attitude sometimes clashes with his language, making for some entertaining moments in the story. Overall, his blend of kindness, loyalty, and unexpected humor makes him a truly memorable character.